Yo, what's going on guys? How's it going? Cowboys, baby. Got the win. Got the win versus the Eagles. Uh, great win. Sloppy win. Pretty uh, dramatic, up and down, kind of emotional roller coaster these past two games because, you know, we're getting wins, but we're losing players like freaking flies. Uh, the most bittersweet of couple of wins I've ever seen. And um, But yeah, the, the sweet part is seeing all the Eagles fans' reactions, seeing how they lost the way they did, which is surprising. Even I didn't see that coming. Um, you know, we lost Romo, lost him probably eight to 10 weeks, something like that. And we already got Dez and, you know, we got Gregory out for a little bit. So that's the worst part of it. The best part of it is we're winning with this defense. This defense and the special teams play was great today. Had that block punt. And uh, Sean Lee, man, oh my gosh, Sean Lee, the truth. I know y'all. I know y'all forgot about him. Sean Lee is the truth. Dude had like 14 tackles, one interception, two tackles for loss. He was a monster out there, and he was just making the Eagles look like crap. You know, Demarco had, I don't know, like what, two yards rushing, something like that. Some some poor number, and you could see the Eagles scheme is. Not just the scheme, because, you know, they, they, they can block and stuff. But right now, they're just everywhere. You know, Bradford was getting pressured, throwing all kinds of stupid things. And I'm not really worried about the Eagles right now. I'm happy they lost. I'm happy that the Eagles fans are all mad right now. But, um, guys, I think we can sustain without Roma and Dez. I think we can. Because with this defense, if it plays like this, if it keeps playing with Sean Lee being a monster, if we have pass rushing, if and we get uh, McLean back, we get Hardy, and we get freaking Gregory back, dude, our defense will be monstrous, seriously. And, you know, we just need to hold off. We need to, you know, stay above 500 until Romo comes back, until Dez comes back. And then we could try to make a playoff push, but it's going to be hard with Whedon. You know, and I think Whedon should get the first shot, but showers, man, showers. What, let, let's give him a shot. Let's see what happens. I think he's a raw Russell Wilson. He can run really good. Seen him in preseason. Had a couple good throws. Hey. And everyone's talking about trade for Tebow. Fuck no. And and uh, tra or trade for RG3. No, no. Pick up Tebow and trade for RG3. Now RG3, I think he would be he would be good in our offense with our O line. Um, would take him a while to get used to the terminology and all that. But Redskins won't trade him to a you know a division rival, and uh, that's a long shot. But you know we already got Kellen Moore. We traded for him, uh, or picked him up or whatever, and uh, we got Weedon. We got uh, Showers. So I think we're just manageable at QB. Like it's nothing special. So of course you know we lost Roma, biggest part of our team. So it's gonna be hard going against the Falcons next week, and then prop, uh, New Orleans, and then the Patriots. Then we got the bye, and uh, we just got to hold the fort until then. Hopefully this defense steps up like it did today, and uh, I'm just happy, guys. Happy, bittersweet, like I said. Uh, great win. Um, wasn't the best of day for, for me fantasy-wise, but anytime the boys get a win, it's awesome. So until then, guys, next week, until this Friday, I'll give you the preview for the Falcons. Uh, have a great day, and see y'all later.